Good afternoon, it's Julie Cube from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with a little pour. Something I'm testing out because, uh, for myself actually, uh, I have a, a 180 centimeter by 50 centimeter canvas, a real long, sort of a skinnish 50 centimeters that I would wanting to hang on my bedroom wall with these certain colors. So I am trying to, I'm gonna experiment on using the Boom Gel stain, the Boom Gel paints. I've just watered them down with water and I'm gonna see if I can do a Dutch pour blowing these, what the actual paints look like when they're you know, blown out thin down and blown out so I haven't tried that uh, they're highly pigmented paint so I thought you know if any paint can take thinning down with water it could be these so that's what I'm going to try today so I've mixed my paints up in the colors that I want that sort of go with the uh, quilt the uh, duna cover that I want to what I've got um, that I want to kind of pick out colors in it to match so I'm going to use just these with just plain old water added nothing at all I've put no um, no pour, uh, pouring medium or no uh, silicone in them at all so this is just testing on this small one so what I have done though is I've used the uh, Montmartre white um, mixed with the normal pouring medium then I added some gold to the white because I don't want it white I kind of want it like a creamy color and that's what I've got uh, I've just mixed those so that's uh, nothing this has got no silicone in it either so I'm going to just coat the, the paint, uh, the canvas with this, and yeah, let's see how we go anyway. So, I might just oh, be posh and use my spatula. So, just cover it. I'm not worried about the very uh, sides right at this moment. So, it's kind of turned out like a I don't know like a dull sandy color so I'd work on that color because I'm not quite sure if I like that color this particular color I've mixed for my room but um, it was mixed with the gold so I can see that I'm getting some like a gold metallic so I can see I'm getting some sort of nice shine in there so it might be um, okay color to for what I need it for but I'll just uh, double check that as I go along. I think it's, I'm gonna use plenty to coat the canvas, so. Thank you all for joining me anyway today. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and the lovely comments that I've been getting from you guys of late. It's really appreciated do appreciate each and every one of you that come oh come along and um, watch me give this a go like all of us just try to you know have fun a bit of fun paint therapy and um, yeah and just enjoy it so hoping that that you enjoy it too and it might give you some ideas or inspiration or just if you sat there on your own at home you know it um, gives you some enjoyment to pass the time art and therapy or art is therapy so this first one is the Bungara Brown I'm going to I think blow it upwards like sort of I've done this before so I've got to just be mindful not to use too much paint because that's where I seem to um, make the biggest mistake but I do want the colour at the bottom and it blown to the top and I think that's how I will do it on my big canvas too so that is the Banksia orange 
and I might go uh, this is the metallic gold so remember it's just got water in it so it'd be interesting to see how these blow out because they might be fantabulous this is the mana mana crab blue I should have showed you a picture of the cover that I'm trying to I don't want the same colors but I'd obviously would like some of the same colors in it not sure if I go white no I won't put any white in it I will just add a bit more of this sort of goldy beige along the bottom and along here and because this is a small canvas I'm going to blow this out with my um, little mini blower I think yes because the big one the hairdryer I've got is really big and cumbersome I need to um, maybe change that hairdryer and get one that's a little bit easier for me to hold so wish me luck people so should I keep the end on it I'll try it so let's give this a go Oh, I like it, oh my goodness. I like it very much. Keep it going. Let's come down here a bit. Okay, I think I need to add a bit more of the blue along there, I think so. Really do like that though. Pretty nice. Just a bit more of the brown. Gold and the orange. You can hear my puppies. They're well, we're coming up seven weeks old this week, and they'll be going to the new home soon. So that has gone so quick. Uh, just add a bit of this on the bottom, the base color. Let's see what I can get. I think it's just looking a bit odd, a bit, um, well, we'll see. Never find that button to turn it off. Okay, just let me put a bit of heat wand on it. Take away the air bubbles. I like it. I like it very much. Oh, I 
oh dear, those little naughty puppies. I think I might let this dry off a bit and um, come back and see what a few balloon kisses because I like the kiss and blow. Oh, I can do it now because there's not too much paint. Oh, that looks lovely. That looks lovely. I like it. Definitely will be doing these colours in my big one. So it should look really effective doing this on a big canvas. Just putting the kisses in around the sort of bow at the bottom. That's all. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Let's push that in there. Just the little teeny balloon filled with water. Just gives those nice little balloon kiss. It probably, oops, I probably could have blown some of that much further up, but I don't mind at all having the negative space. Have I still got it in frame or am I way out? Sorry about that, guys. Let's see. Wow, I like it. I like it. Oh. I think that's going to look really nice on a big long one in that probably need to sort of work on the composition a bit more getting it more even but I'm not a person for like even and central and I like odd things I like them things put on walls off center I don't like things perfect because that isn't life it's not perfect and that's what's beautiful about it and I love this piece. So wait and see the photos at the end. I hope you like it. Um, that was very interesting doing that particular technique with the boom gel paints because I used very small amount of the boom gel paint and just mix water till it got to that watery consistency that everybody's telling me I need to uh, use for the um, Dutch pour. So this is a kiss and blow so it's the dutch pour which you blow the canvas and the jilly kiss so uh, aussie kiss whatever so there you go and i think that the boom gel worked excellent and it seemed to move better on the canvas format so now i'm really excited to try a big hair you know a bigger canvas to blow it out so i might go up to the next size before i do my great big one so thank you guys so much for joining me let me know what you think and if you have any um suggestions to help i uh, i'm more than willing to hear them so thank you guys for joining me thanks for subscribing until next time stay safe people bye for now